Hey and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 17th of July. We are here to steal the three parts of the Rotenev Mark III while killing as few people as possible. And we have quite the crippled uh, Daily Challenger today. Uh, they're glitch sick, they're shaky, they're a technophobe, they're ex off world. Fortunately, they've got items that don't actually care about many of these things so concussion hammer doesn't care about shaky doesn't care about glitch sick cell charging long range glitch trap it's a trap one of the few pieces of gear that doesn't care about technophobe that isn't like a direct weapon and the emergency shield is consumable anyway so uh i was always only ever going to get five charges so that's kind of nice and since we're dealing with a bloodless run um we're mostly going to be knocking people out anyway Okay, so we're going to go here, and then we're going to evaluate how we approach. I'm recording this much earlier in the day than I'm allowed. This is a six zone ship for ship one. That is unusual. Response time is 60 seconds, so we're not going to have any particular troubles with that. Okay, I'm just going to try and approach from the right hand side. So we've been accelerating for long enough that we probably want to stop that. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Right. So we pop down here, take you out, we'll check this out at the same time, we'll get some wrenches from it. Okay, that kind of already sets us going down this way and we can repeat the exact same thing. Um, yep, that seems like a good line. So the key point we'll be getting this, whatever it is. Also, this maximizes the amount of gear we get the opportunity to grab. So I think this is a good plan. Also, these guys are going to teleport to us when they see us because of the whole wrench carrying thing, right? So. This way, give me a key, uh, yep. Oh, whoops, that's bad, that's real bad. Throw this. Good. <laughs> if he had, if his uh, glitch dash had recharged, I would just be taken out immediately. Okay, well. Well, well, well. I'm just gonna go this way brief, I'm just gonna activate this okay this changes many things give me the item back this is bloodless right okay so I'm gonna need to make sure I throw these things as smoothly as possible Give me that hammer back. This way, throw. This way. This way. This way, thank you. Open this. Perfect. I'll mark these. I need noisemaker as well. Okay, we run through here. Let's actually make sure we're in a position where we can see ourselves. Because the thing about throw mode is you don't recenter. Um, let's just grab another wrench. Thank you. Sorry about the noise, the audio goes a little bit crunchy when you do this stuff. Okay, definitely not dashing, which means I think I'm just gonna KO these guards and run past. Yeah, 
That's definitely the plan. I'll grab this wrench again. Throw it. So this was to protect that guard. Also, if you set off the alarm, I'm not actually that fussed. And convenient bonus of this is that because the guard was able to see me, I was stuck in the slowdown state, which made it a lot easier to maintain my speed. This actually works out doubly well for me because as a result, we're going to have the ship change direction, which should help accelerate me away. Although what I should do then is open this up, take whatever this is, it looks like it's a gun. And I'll take another gun. So we head down here, head this way, press a key, um, remote app pod. Uh, stop remoting that pod. Okay. So we shoot this way and this way. So the reason why I had to stop remoting my pod there was uh, this. Basically, um, I was going to get shot. I don't like getting shot. So we at least could impart some momentum on ourselves there. Oh, so close. I thought I was going to hit there. That's going to cost me. Still worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Okay, right, got there. Sorry, there's not a whole lot to talk about generally during the pickup process. Uh, throw that, not throw that, drop that off in there. Bloodless, yes, alarm, yeah, 26 seconds, not, not the best, not the worst either. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Excellent. Okay, so we definitely want to take at least one gun. Probably just the one gun though. Let's just take a bunch of wrenches as is tradition. And so now what we can do is we can summon the guards, which is always, always a positive thing. Now, let's take a quick look at the ship that is surprisingly close, and this is actually a smaller ship than the last one. So we have everything we should need, right? Our biggest risk is a predator, because a predator can pierce the shield. Everything else we can handle. Um, and we'll probably be able to get around any predator. And obviously we don't have one on this particular mission. It's a predator on the next one that we need to be worried about. Uh, this is reinforcements, so if I were worried about them, where would I need to be worried about them coming from? I mean, it's never going to be in there. Um, here. Okay, so reinforcements are also going to be irrelevant. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, Basically, try. Oh, I didn't check the um, entrance. Oh, wait, no, I did. It's on the left hand side. Uh, so, we are going to enter a sector, fire a gun into a wall, steal the key from the chump who shows up, and then just keep running. That was dumb. Okay. Glitch dash there, but you don't have a key, so we actually have to run over here. Uh, to get that key. Let's do that then. So you've already ruined things for me. Unlock that. Since we are pretty close. And I realize that pretty close is kind of an odd way. Alright, yeah, we're definitely going down this way. Open. Impact grenade launcher. That's not great for us here. Okay, don't care about you. So, yeah, definitely going this way. So we pop into here. We fire our gun, like so. Steal that key. And yes, we set off the alarm by doing this, but that's fine. Uh, we want to go down this way. 
probably to about here. Let's see. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Well, that cost me. Give me that key. Because I uh, managed to lose my slipstream. So now this is going to take much longer than it needed to. Uh, give me this. What do you do? You're. Uh, I'm in throw mode, aren't I? No, I'm not. Oh, this must be a grenade or grenade launcher. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and claw back some time with this conk hammer. Okay, great. And now we're going to shoot this gun. Remote our ship probably should have started moving it beforehand. But whatever. Alright. So that was painful just because that was a really simple mistake to make at the end. And that meant that we suddenly dropped to a fifth the speed we could have been going at. But it wasn't worth trying to recover that because I want this uh, speed boost for the last ship. Alright, what do we have here? Still got glitch dashing guards. That is perfect. That means that we can pull the exact same trick. Glitch dashing bosses, I should say. Uh, we're not so close that this is a problem. But we do need to vacate the premises. Okay, so... We could... Hmm. Okay, so one option is to actually go here and use our one subverter charge on this. I think we're going to dock here and see. I think it's probably better to just have the free key. Uh, or the ability to subvert the tracker, depending on where the tracker is, than to go in the other entrance. So... That's my thinking. In general, I have a tendency to leave cards on the table because you know rainy day uh but i think it's a better choice so the tracker is right here which actually means that there are what we're probably going to do is go this way uh even though that's a real pain of a circle um it's either go that way or we need to make sure that we subvert that tracker uh, which would probably mean we want to go down this way. Um, in which case we need that subverter anyway. So I guess we're going to go like so. Uh, you are pointed away from us. Perfect. Yep. Alright. Let's do that. I just saw that giant circle and was like, I, I do not want to deal with this. Okay, so we go down this way. We deactivate you. We steal this keycard. We then need, in fact, while we have this, I'm going to do this because this reduces the chances of people accidentally killing themselves, which is actually a really important consideration when you're dealing with this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get this guard away from everyone else. Steal this key card. And then run through. I'm such an idiot. And there we go. Ah. Ah. Too focused on the wrong things. Okay, well, I guess we just gotta go fast. As fast as we can after we've wasted our slipstream. And also already lost the ability to get perfect. Okay, so we throw a wrench at you, we grab this wrench, we hit you, we then grab our wrench back, we're going to go south, we're going to take the key, ah, oh, that's so annoying, such a dumb mistake to have made.
Alright, now we use our emergency shield to let us go down. We fire a gun into this wall so we can steal this keycard. We'll clonk you just to make it slightly faster, go around the corner, hit here, strike here, hit here. Okay, so you're gone. Okay, so here we're gonna run through the you lot like a hot knife through runny butter. Uh, we wanna go this way, throw at this. Take this back. Um, now I need to get down here. I need that key. I'll probably say, hey, give to me, surrender to, unto me one key. In fact, I might as well do this now. Steal and throw this. And say, head this way, remote our ship. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get to. I reckon if I could hover at about here, I'm going to see what happens. Okay, stop, open, grab, run this way. Fire this gun like so. Didn't get there. Fire this. Grab another gun. Fire it like so. Don't know if I hit. I can't actually tell. Another gun. Fire it. Another gun, fire it. Yep, remote. Okay. All right, I'm quite pleased with that pickup. That pickup was great. Everything else, that was a massive shambles because I should have taken a fraction of the time and I shouldn't have had a guard shoot another guard in the back. But that was my own miss, mess up with the slipstream. So 490, which is not going to put me in first place. It's going to put me in 18th place. Same time as K said. I would have I would have gotten first place if I hadn't messed up. I would have easily been able to get that. that uh, beat that speed. Ah, uh, that's a pain. Oh well. Um, still top 23% right now, which is going to, you know be better overall because other people will play uh yeah cool it was a fun daily it's just a challenge to when you got literally three sidewinder charges for the entire thing so you know you can only spend one per ship it's a challenge sometimes to do that uh and one that today i just did not quite live up to all right see you next time